Hello everybody, my name is Kyle Lee, aka Kilo Loco from KiloLoco.com, and today we're going to be going over Replay Kit, um, aka Screen Recording. Uh, this is a very simple tutorial, it should be um, considerably shorter than most of my other videos, but it's also going to be a little bit different from my other videos, and I'll get into that right now. Uh, the tools we're going to be using today, Xcode 8.2.1. Swift 3 and a iPhone 6s Plus. You don't need to have the 6s Plus or any um, specific iPhone or iOS device, but you do have to have an iOS device for you to actually test this out and make sure that it's working. The reason for that is that Replay Kit will not work in the simulator. So if you do set up all your code, no matter what, you will not be able to test out your application and make sure that it works. You do have to test it on an actual device. Uh, like I said, this is a very, very easy um, topic to go over, uh, and it should be considerably short, and all you really need to know are the Swift language basics. If you know that and you just follow along, you should be able to see how everything works. Um, I'd like to give a shout out to Sam Samimi, which is also my manager. Um, he's the one that actually requested a little bit of info on how to do this, um, how to use this uh, framework. And um, just wanted to give him a shout out because he wanted to know how this works. Okay, so um, let's get into it. We'll start off by making a new application as usual. And it is a very hot day today in Southern California. So if you look closely, I am sweating, sweating terribly profusely, I should say. Okay, so we'll just call this um, instant replay, whatever. Call it whatever you want. Um, yeah. And I'm going to save this to my KL Learning because that's where I learn ya. All right, let's get into it. Um, you might want to know how to use storyboards. I mean, it's one of the very basic things to really know how to use. Um, and we're not doing anything special, but. Uh, for this example, I'm just going to use a, a text field, and I'm also going to be using a slider. Now, this obviously is not required for a replay kit. It is just so that I can give you an appropriate example so you can actually see stuff happening. All right, so we set up our text view. I'm going to set that 24 from the top, 0 from the side, height is fine. Go ahead and add the four constraints. There we go. Also going to add a slider. Once again, not necessary at all. This is just for demonstration purposes. Xcode really does not like running um, while OBS is open for me, so yeah. All right, 24 from the top, zero from the side, height is fine. And then um, something that is kind of man mandatory are the buttons to actually start recording and stop recording. So we'll have two buttons. Sorry about the dogs in the background. So we'll do um, record. Try to get them to stop. And then we'll call this one stop. That made it worse. All right, so I'm just gonna stack these. Lily, no! Sorry. All right. And we'll get this set up as well. We'll do zero zero uh constraint of margins uh height uh, we don't need height on this one but that's fine update our frames um distribution will be fill equally there we go and now we're going to go over to the view controller or actually we want to connect those buttons don't need to connect the text view or the um or the slider because once again we're not going to be use them, using them we're just going to be uh, seeing that stuff has been recorded that's all we don't need anything in here so let's go ahead and take all this out 
and we're going to connect the record button make sure that it's an action on record cord tapped same thing with the stop button nope action on stop tapped all right back to the view controller let's get this all opened up and whoa there we go all right so all you really have to do is import replay kit and then you're gonna have to create a strong reference well you don't have to create a strong well yeah you can you, you do have to create a strong reference to the recorder so what we're gonna do is do let recorder equal um, replay and then this is going to be um, what is it called screen recorder screen recorder and then you have to get the singleton instance of it the shared screen recorder and from here all we have to do is do recorder dot let's see if it'll pop up as it'll be start recording so um, what you can do is you can do um, camera preview view uh, we're gonna be getting to the delegate in a bit we can choose to discard the recording um, we can check if it's available if um, we're able to actually start recording uh, is the camera available is the microphone available is it recording at this second um, we're gonna do the start recording right here with the handler go ahead and do enter for the autocomplete type in error and then um, we'll just check if this error because I think this is a, this is an optional error so we'll have to unwrap it so if let error is equal to error then what we'll do is we'll just print the error right and then um, that's all you have to that's all you really have to do to, to start recording that's it easy as that easy as pie all right now to stop recording guess what you got to do dot stop recording let's see if it'll eventually pop up there we go stop recording with a handler this one's actually going to give us a view controller which is the preview view controller so that you can see what you recorded you can also crop it during that time and then um, if it doesn't give you the preview it'll give you the error so what we'll do is we'll um, we'll just call this uh, preview VC call this one error and we'll have to uh, optionally chain these so if let preview VC equals preview VC then we're going to present the preview um, view controller uh, let's see if it'll work so we get autocomplete we're gonna do this one present uh, it's just like presenting any other view controller we're just gonna use this one and preview VC animated we'll say true just so it looks a little bit cleaner and then completion we're not going to do anything after it's presented um, so we'll put nil um, since we're in a closure I do have to specify this is a self so all right so we'll do the same thing with the error let error equals error and we'll do we'll just print the error now um, there's one other thing that we have to do and that's that we have to set up the preview um, the preview view controllers delegate just so that when we're done selecting an image that it dismisses properly or, or that if we cancel it dismisses properly and that's pretty much it so usually what I like to do for my um, delegate methods are I like to uh, put 
put them in their own separate extensions uh, just makes my code a little bit cleaner and I think that's actually the way that they recommend to do things um, by the Swift style guides so yeah extension and we're just gonna be extending this view controller right here that's all we're doing you could technically just put the method in here below and put the uh, delegate method up here but like I said style guidelines um, this one's called uh, replay what is it called RP preview preview controller delegate yeah that's the one and then the one that we want to do is preview controller did finish so once it did finish we're just gonna do um, dismiss and we're gonna do dismiss and we're dismissing this view controller dismiss uh, animated we want true and then we're not doing it anything after we dismiss it in this um, example so we'll put nil we also have to specify that the preview VC is going to conform to uh, or is going to have the delegate set to this view controllers delegate which is going to uh, um, actually point to this extension down here and be able to call the preview controller did finish um, method so preview VC dot and it's like preview view controller delegate or P preview controller delegate there you go and we're just gonna set that to self and that's all you really have to do now this is a part where it gets a little bit weird I do have to open this up on my phone and that's not going to be extremely pretty and also my sound might go out because I just realized that I have to unplug my other USB <laughs> which is connected to my microphone so things might sound a little bit weird but um, we're all done um, if you want I can just run this on the simulator to show you that it won't work um, but everything is being called as is expected so I'll show you that everything's in place um, we'll get uh, let's see we won't even get any feedback there won't be any errors that you won't even be notified that this stuff isn't working unfortunately so I'll pull it up on the simulator real quick just so that you can see what I'm talking about all right so all I'm gonna do and actually it's a good thing that I brought it up all I'm gonna do in the um, when I pull this up is uh, when I pull this up on my phone, all I'm going to do is I'm going to type in random text. After I after I hit record, I'm going to type in random text, and then I'm also going to move the slider uh, left and right so that you can see that it's actually doing stuff. And that's all I'm going to do. And then I'm going to stop the recording. The preview will come up, and then, yeah. So you'll see that I hit record. You'll see that I'm getting all this weird junk at the bottom. I still get weird junk when, when I'm connected to the, um, the actual device but um, it's nothing as crazy as this so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this simulator and then here goes this is probably where the um, audio is gonna go a little bit crazy alright guys so I couldn't record on my computer things got a little bit choppy but I got my iPad Pro right here so I'm gonna record on that and I'm gonna show you um, so that's the app right there we go I'm sorry if it's backwards uh, once again record on the iPad so I'm gonna just tap record you're gonna get this message it's gonna say allow um, allow screen recording and it's gonna say your app name so uh, we called mine instant replay and then it's gonna give you two options you know obviously to let you record the screen or to not let you record the screen I'm just gonna record the screen from here I'm gonna open up my text do all this random text right do all that goodness and then also I'm gonna move the slider back and forth so that we can just see that that it is uh, operating when we do the recording so now that I'm done I just do stop get the preview and now if you notice we can we can uh, cancel if we didn't like that recording we already know that we didn't like it we could save it which will save it straight to your photos um, you can share it which it'll bring up all your normal options to share right uh, whatever you normally share with uh, you can also crop it down here 
and then you can replay it so that you can see exactly what ended up happening. And then now I should start using the slider. It should be going, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, see, easy as that. So now that it's done, I just want to save it. And, it's, and it should be saved all the way over in my photos. Uh, that's not it. This is it. And now you can see that I'm playing it from my photos. My photos app, you can, uh, well, at the very beginning you can see that it was down there, but it is my photos app. And it's playing as, as it was. And it's right down here today. So yeah. And that's pretty much all you have to do. So um, that's all you have to do for uh, uh, replay kit is you just have to use three different methods: the start recording method, the um, stop recording method, and then you have to set up the preview controller delegate uh, just so that you make sure that your preview is interacting properly, that you can dismiss it um, when you're done, and all that other stuff. After that, you're all set. You're all good to go. That's all you need to do for replay kit. So. Um, if you guys have any questions, make sure you reach out to me um, either in the comments or on Twitter. You can also reach out to me on Slack. I set up a new uh, Slack team. It's called Applied Swift, and the it's been named after my meetup group. So if you're in the uh, if you're in the Southern California area, more specifically, if you know about um, you know the foothills or the um, San um, what is it called San Gabriel Valley S San yeah, SGV, something like that. Anyway, if you're a couple miles east of LA, then feel free to join my meetup. It's going to be once a month. We're going to be covering all kinds of different topics on um, anything that you can do in Swift. The first one's going to be for iOS. Then we're going to do uh, Watch OS. After that, it will be, I think, TV OS, then Mac OS. And then we're going to do server side Swift. And then we'll do Raspberry Pi. So we're going to be covering all kinds of different things on in Applied Swift, uh, Foothills. If you look that up, it's going to be in the link below if you want to check that out. Also, the Slack team will be in the link below. Make sure you check that out. So give this uh, video a thumbs up if you've been watching it all the way through, if, it, if you learned something new or if I've been helpful in any way. Also, make sure that you subscribe so that you can see all the different videos that I upload to the channel. I'm constantly fulfilling people's requests on what they want covered um, in a tutorial. So stuff like that, iOS or Swift, whatever. Um, yeah, so once again, my name is Kyle Lee, AKA Kilo Loco from kiloloco.com. And as always, code passionately.